In this video, I'm gonna show you a few different ways to make picture-in-picture -picture effects in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you how to do this basic like gaming one in the corner, and then I'm gonna show you how to do a more traditional like top corner one, but with a border. All right, so the first picture-in-picture -picture that I'm gonna show you how to do is this simple one right here. All you need is two clips stacked on top of each other. The top one is gonna be the one that you shrink down, and the bottom one is gonna be the one that stays full screen. So all we're gonna do is click on the top one, go over to scale right here in effect controls, click on this, slide to the left, and shrink it to the size that you want. I'm gonna keep mine a little bit bigger just for the video's sake. And then up here is position, click and slide this to go left and right, click to slide this to go up and down, or just click on motion right here and drag it into place. I'm gonna go kind of over the edges right here because this is kind of the normal gaming spot that people do picture in picture. Now, if you wanna crop it down to make it smaller, then just go over to your effects, type in crop, drag it onto that top clip, and then find it in effect controls down here. In this case, I just need a crop from the right. So I'm gonna just click and slide this to about there. And then I'll go back up to the top right here and reposition it. So I'll just tuck it in there to make it more of a square instead of a rectangle. If you're wanting to animate your box, like have it slide in or like pop in, then here's two quick ways to do that. You just click on the clip that you want to animate. So the first one, uh, I'm going to show you how to slide it in first. So you're going to just deal with position. So click toggle animation and then find the spot where you want it to slide in to. So I'm just going to go a little bit over and add a keyframe right here. Boom. So this is where it's going to start and this is where it's going to end. So we have our end position. Then we're going to use this little arrow key to go to previous keyframe. And then this one, I'm just going to slide it off to the left. So I'm going to slide this off the screen here. So now when we watch this, it's gonna slide in. Now it's a consistent like linear movement. If you wanna have it kinda slide in a little bit different, then just click on the, like highlight these two keyframes, right click, go down to temporal interpolation and just click like Bezier there. You can pick any of those things really. And if we drop this down, you're gonna see these little like handles show up right there. And I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna drag one and I'm gonna make this like mountain curve like this and then bring this one down and kind of over. Cause all this means is it's gonna go nowhere and then fast and then it's gonna slowly come in now instead. So if we now watch it, it's gonna kind of more kind of drift into place instead of just one speed and then stopping. You can also make your clip pop into place instead of slide into place by using scale instead of position. So let's just do that with this one right here. So we're gonna again find where we want it to start we're gonna to click toggle animation right here besides scale this time. Then we're gonna move ahead to where we want it to actually be popped into place. Add a keyframe right here, then click this little arrow to go to previous keyframe back to the start, and you're gonna scale it down to nothing. Now, in this case, you don't want it to just pop in, right? It just pops in like that. You actually want it to go a little bit bigger. So we're actually gonna go a couple frames over, so just slide this a couple frames over, add another keyframe, then go to previous again, and change this to be a little bit bigger. So mine's at scale 38. I'm just gonna go to, let's just say 40 and hit enter. So what that means is it's now gonna come in, it's gonna go a little bit bigger than it needs to be, and then it'll come back. So it'll kind of bounce back into place. Then do the same thing, just highlight these, right click, and let's go to Bezier right here it'll apply you know, those effects and you can see them in here. So now when we watch this one, it's gonna just bounce into place. Okay, so the other picture in picture method that I'm gonna show you is how to make one that has a border around it that you can also scale up and move and the border will stay with it. Okay, so all you need is the same thing, two clips stacked on top of each other. The top one right here, we're gonna immediately right click on it and go up and nest it. And I'm just gonna call mine top for now and click OK. Then we're gonna click on that one right there and we are gonna go over to our effects and we are gonna type in grid. Okay, so type in grid, drag grid onto that top layer. You'll see it show up like this and you'll see the clip underneath show up. So in effect controls, go down to grid, first change blend mode from none to just normal and that'll bring the top clip back. Then under anchor right here, just change this one to zero and this one to zero. 
then size from go width and height sliders, then for width right here, change it to the width of your sequence, like of your frame. So I'm dealing with 4K UHD, so mine's gonna be 3840 by 2160. If you're using 1080, then that would be 1920 by 1080. You're gonna see there's a thin little border right there now. And then under here under border, now I can just click and slide this over to make the border as thick or as skinny as I want. So I'm gonna go about like that. And then you can obviously go here and change the color if you want. So just pick whatever color you want. I'm gonna stick with white and click okay. Now, when we go here and change the scale, it's now gonna keep that grid border around it so we can scale it down and place it just like we did last time. Just slide this over and plunk it in where we want. But because it's nested, if we wanted to crop or zoom in or anything, we can just double click in here. So double click on the top one. A new sequence is gonna show up right here with that clip in it that we nested in it. And then let's say here for scale, you wanna zoom in, like make it even closer. When you do that, and you can animate this, right? So you can go from, let's say 649 here, maybe I'll go here and I'll drop this back to, originally it was 300 right there. So now when we exit out or we click back on our other sequence, we'll see that it's regular size and then watch it. It's gonna go and zoom in because that's what we told it to do over here. If you wanna crop it, like let's say you don't want it this wide, then just go over to your effects, type in crop, drag that on the top nested sequence and then go find it down here under crop. And then let's just say we wanted to go from the left. So you'd crop from the left and you can see the border disappears. So then all we have to do is just go back up to grid and change the anchor point. So this one right here, so click and you're gonna slide to the right until you see the next like border thing show up. Just place it kind of where you want on that side then we're gonna change the width. So we'll click on it and drag it to the left and shrink that down until that next border shows up. And then we're back in business with a border on our picture in picture. Now there's obviously a whole bunch of other things you can do to make your picture in picture box more fancy as well, but I'm just gonna show you two of them really quick. So they're both in perspective. So in video effects, drop that down and go to perspective. The first one is basic 3D. So you can just click on that and drag it onto the top clip here. And then if you go down to basic 3D over here, the one that we're doing right now is just swivel. So you just swivel it like this. So you can have kind of the look of it kind of looking in towards, you know, the, the image here. Tilt would just be like that, right? So I think in this case looks kind of odd. Tilt would not be one that I would do there. And then the other thing would be drop shadow right here. So also in perspective, just click on that and drag drop shadow in, go down a little bit here. And I would say start with your opacity, crank it up just so you can see it, then mess with distance. So you give yourself, you know, the actual look of where the shadow is, then deal with direction. So click and slide this until you get the shadow to where you want. So I kind of want it down here to the bottom left, then readjust everything else. So I'm going to turn the softness up so it's a little bit more of a blurry shadow. Then I'm gonna drop the opacity back down so it's not so intense. And if you want, you can change the color up there as well. And that's it. That's three different picture-in-picture -picture looks that you can create in Premiere Pro. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.